Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Weekend in 5. Today, we are going to go see Mother because uh, there's been some shenanigans in the Sacred Games. So hopefully, uh, you know, we can come to a, a satisfying conclusion, right? Uh, don't worry about Marina or Belkut, I'll check in on them. Okay, you do that. How can you ever ask for forgiveness? Uh, I don't know. You can't, really? I mean, I'm sure Belkut will forgive you, he's... Standard JRPG hero material, where he's overly forgiving, but that's just my opinion. I would not be as forgiving, you know. If I was like a, a slave, I escaped, and then I came back to this country to become its, you know, second in command. <laughs> and I made it to the finals, and someone drugged me. I would be... Extremely unhappy. Prince Magic is in. Oh, it's in the room, right? Sorry. Yeah, I don't. We definitely wouldn't end up together, I can tell you that much. Uh, definitely wouldn't probably forgive you. But I'm very, like, non forgiving. Apparently. Welcome back. So, how was Belkut? Um, not this great. This looks like it's going to be a long story. I don't know, about ten minutes, maybe? Thank you for telling us. But everything you've said is just conjecture, is it not? No, we have proof that Marina poisoned him. We understand. Your guesses are probably correct. Thank you for finding out so much in such a short amount of time, but... There's still no proof of who was behind all of it. No, but there Isn't is that proof right? that he was poisoned. <sighs> That's true, but... And sure, you might not be able to place the game but on Gazelle. The truth, we can't take action based on conjecture. You can take action based Our on the staff? fact that he was poisoned. Right? I'm not saying you need to go after Gazelle. I'm saying you need to have a rematch. <laughs> Because clearly one of them was poisoned, thus it was tampered with, thus it was not a fair fight, nor was it in the rule sets of the tournament. So you need a, you know, kind of like just maybe restart in a couple days? Uh, anyways, is there anything we can do? I... I am not a god. I might be able to make accusations, but without proof, there's no chance for justice. I'm not saying the rest of them. If I could punish certain senators, I would have done it long ago. Arshtat. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're giving her ideas now. Arshtat? Oh, of course. How foolish of me. There's no need for me to put up with any of this. All I have to do is become a god. After all, I am omnipotent, and I have powers befitting a god. I mean, you're not wrong. True runes are Shut very goddess. Not goddess, but godlike. <laughs> At least their powers are. To begin with, I must bring down judgment upon Lord Godwin. For making a mockery of me and my beloved children. You know, I like the way you think. What I did to Lord Lake. Yes! But also, like, no. Mother. <laughs> Bad mother. Oh, what? Did I? <sighs> no, it's all right, my dear. Sorry about this. Let me discuss this further with Farid. All of you are excused. Be very careful not to tell anyone about this. And please be especially careful Lim doesn't hear about it. She's still too young to know about such sordid things. I mean, you're forcing her to get married, so I'm pretty sure she's I'll old enough. We take care of that business about Zagai. We certainly can't take the life of an innocent man. That's good. Yes. Thank you, Farid.
Your Majesty, about that dark arcanum. Yes, I know. I'll see what I can do. Yes, thank you, Your Majesty. Silence have left the party. I mean, I get why they do the leave the party thing, but you're just gonna be in my party in like five minutes anyways. Prince! Well, you're already awake? Wow, you're lucky I wasn't naked. Come on, your highness. Looks like you didn't sleep very well, huh? Uh, you didn't either? You didn't either? No, there were too many things uh, to think about. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be brooding like this so early in the morning. <laughs> Gotta have my coffee first. His Majesty and the Princess are awake too. Let's go. Or Her Majesty and the Princess. Uh, hello. Y your Highness the Prince, please don't say you're here to see Lady Silies. I wouldn't if I were you. She's even more dangerous than usual this morning. She seemed extremely irritated about something last night, and then she started drinking like hey, crazy, and then... SHUT UP! Eek! Keep it down, will you? My head is pounding! Maybe I should go pound your head! Lady Sally says he is honest, the prince is here to see you! Huh? Well, too bad! I'm not getting up! I'll be asleep until it's time to go! If he's going to town, tell him to give my regards to Marina Belkut. Well, I suppose you heard her. I think half... Half the world heard her. Hello. Prince care about the prince's future, don't you? Yeah. Of course I do. Yes, of course you do. Hehe, <laughs> that's reassuring. All right. <laughs> Frey, I'm glad you came. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Tell me, why is it mother, father, and you have been all acting so strange last night? You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Uh. Sorry, Lim, we can't tell you. So you admit it's true, you are keeping secrets from me. But you tell me if it was something I had to know, right? Guess there's the things that go on that aren't my business. And maybe some things that I'm not ready for. Just promise me one thing, act like a normal person when you're around me. I mean, that's the plan. I think I've always acted like a normal person around you. But I get that's probably very, like, not fun uh, to be like, a member of royalty and everyone you talk to is gonna pretty much try to blow smoke up your ass or kiss your ass or just kind of try to get on your good side no matter what even if they you don't need them to true the champion mass may have been won by cunning rather than strength but all that matters is that what's best for felinia and godwin's obviously the superior to come become some uh superior to some former uh, foreign co commoner i can read and talk Good morning, Your Highness. Hmm, George, it seems His Majesty Ferret has sent him off somewhere. Uh, hello, Mother. How you doing? Frey, I see you're awake. Upon last night's disgusting, uh, discussion, I'll consider your, our options, but not until we're safe back in Solferlina. Uh, I it would be unwise to try to come to a proper decision here in the heart of Godwin's town. Fortunately, Gazelle must come to Solferlina for an engagement ceremony half a month from now. Then... Hey, father. Ah, you're awake. Hmm. Didn't sleep well, I see. Well, it's certainly not surprising. We're going back to Sofalina today, but we're not in any particular hurry. And it seems all of you have met a lot of people here and learned quite a bit. I'm sure there are people you'd like to see again before you leave Stormfist. Why don't you go say goodbye to them? Just come back when you're done. Ah, okay, kidaki. Okay. So yeah, you just pretty much go around, talk to... I think most people have something unique to say. Uh, yeah, we can go to the firmary first, talk to the doctor, then we can go into the town and talk to pretty much anyone with a portrait. <laughs> um, some of them will have unique things to say. Not everyone, but you get some sort of insight. Hello. Good morning, your highness. Oh yes, the warrior I cared for yesterday finally awoke this morning. His energy weren't serious, so the lady took him back to the inn. A quite kind and honorable man, that one. He insists he wasn't drugged, all for that lady's sake. After all, if word got out that she had drugged him, she'd be arrested and everyone in Felina would hate her. Of course, the man won't let, my, uh, let me state my official opinion that he was drugged either. Even if I didn't point the finger at Marina, she's the one that had the most obvious means and motive to drug him. 
But that drug left no evidence anyway, so the point is mute. Or moot, not mute. Uh, only a fool would dare imply that Gazelle won the match and failed without solid proof to back up that claim. So it's best for everyone that we keep quiet about it. Everyone but the that warrior, that is. Eh. I don't know. It seemed pretty obvious that he was drugged. So we can't say goodbye to the guy. Shun, you should be close enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, Prince, please wait. Prince, I heard the rumor that the guy's charges are false. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Well, we think so at the moment. Damn it. This is all my fault. I got overexcited. Now this guy is... Calm down, Shun. His Majesty Farad will see to it that the guy's execution gets called off. Really? That's great. Hey, buddy. The morning I've made your acquaintance, Prince, I'll never forget you. I mean, I'd imagine not. I'm the prince of these lands. But, I guess... I mean, to be fair, I'm not that important. <laughs> I just It's just title and money, which is the most important thing. But at the same time, it doesn't really come with any authority. But people will respect my authority. South Park's still going on, right? I think I hear about it every once in a while. I haven't watched it in a long time. Uh, the last episode I remember watching... I mean, I played the games. Uh, not, not the newest one, but the, the two RPGs on PlayStation and PC. I think they're on Xbox as well, actually. Uh, <laughs> so, the two RPGs that are out on everything, pretty much. Uh, I don't know if they're on Switch. They probably would be. But, yeah. Stick of Truth and Fractured Butthole. I played those before. Um, good games. And if you like if you like that sort of humor, you'll have a good time. If you like RPGs as well. Uh, humor is definitely not for everyone. But, uh, yeah, sure. Let's get agility up. And, uh... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the last one I saw for that was... The last one I remember watching anyways was, uh... Shit, it's... It's the Golden P... I don't know if it was called PSP, but like, it was the Golden PSP... Episode? <laughs> I don't know if it was called Golden PSP, but I guess it was the Golden PSP episode. It's pretty much Kenny had to play on a PSP in heaven. <laughs> That's how long ago it has been since I watched an episode. I'm sorry, but the festival's over. There won't be any more performances. Oh, you look like you're in, in the know. Hey, perhaps you could help us. We came to Flame in search of an amazing wizard. Do you Would you know uh, such a person by any chance? Uh, Leon, do you know who that is? Yeah, Leon, do you know who that is? Huh, not sure. Kyle and, uh, Mikis. Mikis? Mikis, yes. Mikis? Yeah, Mikis. But are both powerful magic users, but they aren't strong enough to be known outside of Felena. Yeah, if they are known, it's as Queen Knights, not as Wizards. I see. Grr. It's okay, Ernest. We'll find what we're looking for. Well, thank you for at least listening. Uh, my name is Norma, and this is Ernest. We'll be doing performances around Selena for a while. Please stop by and see us again. Hi, I'm back to see you. Oh, no? Okay. I wonder what... Okay, I'm just talking. Hello. Damn, I can't believe that despicable dandy's actually Lim's husband. You don't hear that word that often anymore, huh? <laughs> uh, Egbert, where you at? There you are. Hello. Your Highness, I heard all about it. That filthy devil from the House of God would won! There's no way a filthy devil like him would strike fair. I mean, you're right. He must certainly cheated somehow, no doubt about it. I mean, when you're right, you're right, and you, you're right. Uh, you know, allegedly. <laughs> we don't technically have any proof, I guess, but still. Uh, let's see, is there anyone else to talk to? I don't think there is. Nope, we are good to say goodbye. Make sure you check out all the shops, by the way, if you haven't yet. And, uh, pretty much sure that's about it. Not really much for us to do. Uh, I mean, how much SP do you have? I guess I could level up your attack, but we can do that later with George in the party, or anyone in the party. Not anyone in the party, but like in any place. There's usually always a trainer in town. Uh, hello. 
Despite her objection, I sent Marina to the game just to share on Bell Coop. Really? Alright. Hello. Okay. Yeah, that's all that matters that they're safe. Sure. Let's go with that one. Hello. Oh, Your Highness, I didn't realize you were here. I heard that you're returning to the Imperial Capital today. Thank you for all the help you, uh, all your help at the time, at a time like this. Uh, how are your energies? Uh, too bad about the sacred games. Um. Hmm. I guess. How are your injuries? Uh, nothing serious, of course, uh, Your Highness. I'm sure I don't need to stay in bed any longer, but... Oh, yes you do! Even Dr. Murad said that you needed two or three days of rest! Well, you see how it is. You aren't finding it hard to concentrate or anything like that? That drug can sometimes cause side effects like that for some time afterwards. Leon, I haven't taken any drugs. I only fell asleep during my match because I hadn't gotten enough sleep beforehand, that's all. Melkut, you fucking liar. Your Highness, I'm so sorry. I know that if I keep quiet about this, the fixed results of the sacred games will stand. But we're up against something too big and cunning. Even if I speak out, no doubt Marina would be the one, only one punished. And that, that's why. Melkut. Come on, Marina, don't look like that. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was! You, me, all of us, we're all just puppets at the end of their strings. I mean, you're not wrong about that, but still, I, I know. She didn't have to do that. I thought I knew what it meant to be to tangle with Felanian nobility, but I underestimated them. To be honest, I never dreamed that they'd go this far. Uh, and I'm sure that even if I had one, they had would have had some backup plan ready. Your Highness, before long, that man will enter the royal family. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, but he's dangerous. Be careful out there. I don't know. Marina, I actually kind of like you, but... It's kind of fucking insane that you you don't get any of this blame. Well, Chrono, she's in love, and she was taken advantage of... She is an adult, okay? And she knows the difference between right and wrong. No, she doesn't, clearly, Kronos. Okay, you're not wrong there, I guess. But, if your options of fucking, you know, letting someone win a tournament to marry into the royal family, or drugging them with a drug that you don't know anything about, hey, you know what, maybe don't actually use the drug. And you're, you're right, like, in game wise, I'm Gazelle even mentioned that he has other plans just in case, right? It's like he just found this more interesting. At the same time, come on now. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're done here. Again, check out the stores. If you haven't, well, we don't really have the money to buy a lot of the stuff, and to be fair, a lot of the stuff we do have, eventually you're going to have a store, and you're going to want options for party members, if you're not going to go around just unequipping everything, right, from people. Alright, time to... I think you... British already? Yeah, we should be good to go. In that case, uh... In, uh yeah, see, in that case, we should start thinking about leaving. Lord Godwin Gazelle, thank you for your hospitality. Our pleasure. We have been most honored by your visit. I trust you enjoyed your stay here. Yes, we had a marvelous time. The Sacred Games went exponentially well. Princess, I look forward to our engagement ceremony. I shall become bearing many gifts just for you. I I see. Uh, uh, I'll be looking forward to it, too, I guess. And I'm looking forward to the day I officially become your fiancé. Prince Faye, I've been deeply impressed by your chivalry and resourcefulness. I plan to really apply myself so that people won't criticize me as the foolish little brother of a great big brother. Uh, you're like older than me, right? By a significant amount? 
But yeah, you're too kind, I guess. I have a feeling we're going to be the best of brothers. Now then, your highness, have a safe journey home. Just a moment, please. There's someone who isn't with us yet. Oh, watch that. There he is. <laughs> Hello. Why would you want to take a man like that with you? We were planning on execu to execute him any day now. Uh, this man is a felon who plotted with his ar with armed spies to murder her majesty. The Queen's Knight will take custody of him and investigate his relationship with arms closely. Is that acceptable to you? Or should I waste your fucking town? As you wish! <laughs> now then, Gazelle, we look forward to seeing you again at this engagement ceremony. It'll be my honor. What about a boat like that? Now what do you think, Father? All we have to do is wait for our opportunity and seize it. You did well. But you know, Gazelle, people do change. Huh? The Prince. His entire countenance seems to have changed because of this incident. Your schemes might work in the short term, my son. But you may well be planting the seeds for future problems. Well, possibly. I'll take your warnings into consideration. Honestly, I haven't been on a boat in a while. I wouldn't mind getting on a boat. Sailing, not just skimming through the ocean. Looks Lake. like we have no other choice, do we? When we decided to hold the sacred games, we were both well aware Godwin could emerge victorious. It's not like you to hesitate now. But Arstadt, we're not just talking about any little girl here. We're talking about Lim. Anybody would hesitate. I can't bear to see anything bad happen to her, but there isn't much we can do now. Trust me. Could use the sun rune on them. <laughs> I'd gladly step down from the throne and rid myself of the sun rune. But now that it's come to this, we must stand strong. No matter what the cost. Yes. I know. Rather than hesitating, we should be doing everything we can to make sure that cost is as small as possible. Yes. But we must never be suspected. To the very end, we'll just have to pretend nothing's going on. <laughs> Everyone's plotting in shadows. Her Majesty is waiting. Should we, should, get, should we get going? Faye, already? Oh, Princess, good morning. Hey, <laughs> good morning, Lim. Hey, you can't barge in there. Um. Yeah, I think this one counts, so good morning, Lim. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Lin uh, Leon. Princess, you can't just intrude on Jenna's bedroom like that. It's disgraceful. It's not disgraceful. You just make it sound bad. Talking like that is such a big deal. Besides, what about Leon? She was here before I even got here. Well, Leon and Prince are like brother and sister. But Frey and I really are brother and sister! Oh, that's right! Why, you... Um... <laughs> are we gonna do the Three Stooges stick? Maybe we shouldn't keep Her Majesty waiting too long? Oh, that's right! Frey, let's go see our mother! Come on, hurry! Mikis joins the party. Limsla, Limsla, Limslia. <laughs> I can pronounce it, I swear. Joins the party as well. Uh, she is not a support. She's just in the entourage. Um, yeah, I don't think anything's really changed. There shouldn't be anything new here. There's some probably new dialogue. No, not probably. There is new dialogue. But. Oh, on Silies! 
Good morning, Lady Sileys. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, morning. Yawn. What's my thing that sister thinking? If she wanted to see me, why couldn't she wait until afternoon? <laughs> You're on my schedule. Brother wanted to see you too? Hmm, what do you think's going on? Guess we'll find out when we see her. Come on, let's go. Alright, so yeah, there's some new dialogue, but nothing really too drastic. Um, yeah, let's tell. Hi, George, how's it going? Long time no see. Oh, Sir Jerry's, hello! Oh, Your Highness uh, the Princess, Your Highness the Prince, Lady Siles. I'd be the, the finest of mornings. Are you alright? Kind of creeping me out, dog. Same here. <sighs> Whatever could po thou possibly mean? We get it. I should ask you to come too, then. Yes, ma'am. You too, huh? Let's go together, then. It would be my greatest honor to accompany the finest princess this land has ever known. <laughs> oh, it's you, George. Can you drop the polite stuff around me? Just talk the way you normally do, please? You're my father's old friend. You're a close friend to Frey and not Silies. I don't want you to treat me like I'm some sort of stranger. Are you sure? The next queen ought to be addressed properly. Oh, don't worry about it. A good queen can't waste her time getting caught up in formalities anyways. Oh, why didn't you just call why don't you just call me George then? I never felt like much of a sir anyways. Okay then, George. Now I guess those two haven't really interacted too much. Alright, so she's in the throne room. Let's go say hi to Maja and Faja. We're all here, Ashtat. Oh, very good. Thank you for coming so promptly. This is an important time for our Queen Nim and our family. We are fast approaching the engagement ceremony in which Gazelle and Lim will officially be married. Be engaged. Lim? Yes, Mother? There are formalities that must be observed before the engagement ceremony. First, go to the East Palace. There you will see the blessings of the Dawn Rune. After that, you must be purified in the Fountain of Lunas. East Palace? But, Mother, the Dawn Rune isn't... Yes, the Dawn Rune is gone, but we can't let the uh, ch that change our traditions. The Felinian royal family has its pride. You will go through the ritual of the Dawn Rune before your engagement ceremony. The tradition must carry on, even the Dawn Rune is lost. So visit the East Palace on your way to Lunas. Great, more traditions and formalities. But that's okay, Frey's coming with me, right? Yes, he will be joining you. My sister Sizes, Prince Frey, please accompany Lems uh, Lemsia. Yeah, sure, Ashtat. Uh, yes, Mother. Uh, me, Kiss, George, Leon, uh, you go with them on their, as their bodyguards. Yes, Your Majesty. As soon as you're ready, you should depart. Alright, well. Uh, I believe we can actually upgrade our weapons to five now at the blacksmith. Let our mercy as deep as the Fetas, and our authority as powerful as the sun, be revealed to the entire world! Let our mercy as deep as the Fetas, and our authority as powerful as the sun, be revealed to the entire world! Alright. So, let's go ahead and oh, we can talk to all these people. Uh, Pre-engagement. But yeah, we just, actually we need to leave uh, Solfalina and get to the world map from here. And then uh, head to the East Palace. We're not going to be doing that today. There are actually people we can talk to around here. Hey, Prince, you got to hear this. So I asked Farid to let me go with you this time. I was like, look, I missed out when they went to Lord Lake and the Sacred Games. I'm overdue for some action. You know what he said? They'd be safer in the jars of a creeper. Just like that. What did I ever do to him? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But we'll find out what that means next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next episode. Have a great day. Bye.